I I do have a class at this time, so they might call okay. back anytime. All right. So if oh. they do call, then I will have to go. All right. So yeah, do you still want to continue with the class or? Yeah, I mean, I want to continue because, you know, I booked class of someone else, but she wasn't available. So that's why I thought to talk with you. And okay. Yeah, because, you know, I, yeah, I hadn't booked your class today now, but still we're talking to each other. Yes. So um, I might have some extra time after the class. So um, yeah. if we can finish the rest of the class, then that's fine. But I, I'll wait until they call then. All right. So until then, I can talk to you, right? So uh, tell me what's been going on since we last talked. Yeah, nothing else. I mean, I have been practicing English after that. And with that, uh, yeah, I'm doing some stuff that I have. <laughs> That's all. All right. So how do you practice English at home? Uh, well, to practice English, I use different kinds of apps. And with that, I also use WhatsApp groups. And in my home, I talk to my siblings in English language, so that's how I create a kind of atmosphere surrounding me of English language. Okay, like, that's very nice. Yeah, I mean, I feel like I am in a uh, environment where everyone speaks English language because I talk to everyone in English language, so that's why it happens with me. Okay, that's very good. And so, uh, your siblings, do they also reply back in English or no? Not always. They do reply. They can understand me clearly, but sometimes they don't reply me. Uh, when it's easy for them to reply me, they do. But when it's difficult, they don't reply me in English language. But yeah, they try their best like I try. Okay, that's very good. And how old are your siblings? Well, my siblings, if I talk about my sister, she's of uh, 14 year old now. And okay. uh, they're starting in ninth standard. Okay. All right. And so you just have one sister? Yeah, I only have one sister. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you talk to your sister. Do you talk to your uh, parents as well in English? No, I don't talk to my parents in this language. Uh, they're educated, okay. but in front of them, I feel shy, you know, like uh, hesitation. Okay. Like yeah. It makes sense, of course. I think uh, anybody would feel a little shy in front of their parents speaking uh, yeah. any different language. So that's right. With siblings, it's okay. Uh, but with yeah, parents, I mean, you tend to speak in your uh, native language usually. Yeah, I mean, I can talk to everyone. Like, it doesn't matter how professional he or she is. I can talk to anyone in English language. But when it comes to parents, I really feel, you know, worried what I will speak, how I will speak. <laughs> yes it's, yeah, it's really challenging when i have to talk in english language with my parents yeah i think uh, it definitely is and uh, with parents i think you get so used to speaking your native language that speaking any other language seems awkward yeah that's the case with me as well so yeah, I, I understand I mean, regardless of how much i practice english language i cannot have the feeling what i have in my mother language Oh, of course. Yes, definitely. Yeah. It will take a while for that. Yeah. So once you ha start having like your uh, unconscious thoughts in the English language, until then, you won't be able to feel as confident as you are in speaking yeah. English as well. Yeah, right? like, I have been practicing English for more than years and years, but still whenever I watch Hollywood movies, and at the same time when I watch Hindi movie now, I really feel excited when I watch Hindi movie, but while watching Hollywood movie in English language, it doesn't feel that good. Really? <laughs> like uh, trying to understand what they're saying? Yeah, I, I do understand everything, you know, jokes and, you know, the scenes and humor, everything I understand, but yes, okay. it doesn't feel that good. Okay, I see. So like yeah. the... Uh, the content and everything you understand, but it just it's not as fun, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I mean, okay. like, you, know, you won't believe it, but I'm watching so many videos of American YouTubers. Like, there's Anwar Jiwami, something like that. I watch his videos. Okay. All right. Yeah. So and after that, you know, after that, there's also Lily Pons and something like that. There's a YouTube channel. 
Yes, uh, yes, yes. Yeah. So I also follow her as well, but doesn't get that much, you know. <laughs> it's it's the difference in the culture. Um, some people in the West find things funny, which people in uh, South Asia might not find so funny. You know, people have their certain jokes in the West that don't really apply to South Asians. Because there is a really big difference in the jokes might be the same. They might be saying the same thing, but the way that it's uh, displayed or said in the language matters a lot too. Yeah. So, ma'am, so, uh, are, mm-hmm. uh, are you from America or like, uh, you know, or like uh, somewhere else? No, I'm actually in Canada right now. And... Oh, sorry. Uh, that day told <laughs> me that you're from Canada. Yes, I am in Canada. Yes. Where is it? I am in Calgary. It's a city that you probably have not heard of. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, I don't know much, you know, I don't know the name of much countries there. I only know about America, England. I know about Canada. It's one of the most famous country across the world. Is it a country Canada? Is it a country? Yes. Yes, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So yes, it's so famous in India. Yes, a lot there's a lot of Indians in Canada, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. I know. All right. So, um, my reservation is calling me. Uh, so I'll attend their class, and if you want to wait for seven minutes, uh, we can take the rest of the class together, or you're welcome to go to another tutor as well. All right. All but right. I'll Thank message you. you after the class is over. All right. Take care. Bye for now.